with your eggs? You don't like eggs? No, I don't like I don't like breakfast food, period. So I you just don't eat breakfast? No. I eat eggs like every day. Eggs are the worst. I don't like eggs. What? They're just nasty, man. I don't Guys. like them. Oh, hey, uh, welcome to Full Spectrum TV. Hey everybody, it's Walker and Nick at Full Spectrum Laser, and welcome to Laser Talk Live. That's right, so sorry if we were missing you yesterday, but there was an apocalypse affecting Facebook, but we've made it through it, and here we are on the other side, and it looks like the only thing that happened was a little bit of censorship on Facebook, but hopefully not in these comments of this video down below, so keep it clean out there, nothing controversial, and uh, remember, hate speech is not needed on any kind of social media platform at all. Uh, so oh. without, f <laughs> yeah, with, without further ado, uh, let's get right into the show. We got a really cool one for you today. Uh, we're going to talk about some Pinspirations Walker found mm -hmm. on uh, Pinterest. We've got some really cool um, science talk about the difference between power and current. A lot of people ask about that. Totally useful. Absolutely. Great, uh, great little bit of information. Then Walker made some really cool license plate tags that we're going to talk about at the end of the show. So let's get right into it with our first section, Walker's Pinspirations. Live. Retro edition. Retro. Ooh, retro edition of Walker Pinspirations. We got five good ones. Five good ones. Awesome. So let's get into the first one. Oh. Ooh, I remember making a TV a little bit like this. I remember having a TV like this at my grandpa's house. Yeah? It was the wood, too. Top? Yeah, it was made of wood? Yeah, real ugly. Yeah, I remember my grandparents' TV had wood panels everywhere. It was the horrendous. It looked like it was like, uh, like a... Um, I don't know, like a dresser or something, had drawers it's on the side, yeah, had huge yeah. speakers, it was, it was a giant mungo, <laughs> and then when huge. you turned it on, it went, yeah, <laughs> yep, crazy, yeah, so this is a cool little TV, you can use this for picture frames, all kinds of stuff, this is one of my favorite ones, yeah, so. so I know you like this one, and you actually made something like this, yeah, right? I made some uh, cassettes a while back, uh, when I first started seeing these, a real detailed uh, cassette tape, but uh, these cameras, and uh, the boom box, I think that's my favorite one, how cool is that? I mean, those could be sweet keychains. Keychains, ornaments, necklaces. necklace dangles, uh, those can be just cool little tchotchkes that you have on your uh, your desk. Like, what a cool thing. I like thing. mini things. Absolutely. Right? Like, imagine that as a giveaway for a trade show or um, something. Like, what a cool way to, like, have your brand kind of go out. So, let's say you're a musician or artist and you're going to a trade show or some sort of conference. You could have, you know, some keyboards with, like, your artist on or your website yeah. or your sound file or whatever. You no, know, I had a broken keyboard. Oh, yeah? And then I bought a broken keyboard. <laughs> Random. From the pawn shop? Yeah. No, oh, weird. Yeah. Weird. Uh, okay, so this other one here is another really cool one. Uh, I like that they, like, kind of took the video game and made it, like, I don't know, this is kind of like a shadow box memorializing yeah, it, the video game. It's a cool place to put your game when you're not using it, right? Oh, so he keeps it there, and then yeah. when he's, oh, that's a cool so thing a to awesome do. awesome display, and just imagine all your old games like that. Oh, that, imagine a wall of games like that with yeah. all, that would be really cool. And then it's like it's taking it from its throne. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of actual people printing on material mm -hmm. and then cutting it out with the laser. Oh, yeah, I've seen that too, yeah, yeah. A lot Hilarious. of it lately, and it, I think it looks awesome. It looks so good. Such a clean way to get good uh, defined lines, and I mean, the fidelity of that, uh, the printing, you really can't get with any sort of laser. Uh, but, I mean, the three-dimension, like Mario jumping there, like, uh, it's just, everything on there looks good. Looks like he's going to die, though. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Looks like the uh, the bullet's gonna get him. Yeah. Unless he just started jumping. Like we don't know the physics of what's going on. If he's yeah. on his way down though, no bueno. Yeah. No bueno. Yeah. All right. So what else boop we got? Boop boop. I thought this was really cool. Very cool uh, use of stacked wood. And just a clean design. Absolutely. It's 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 old and new all at once. Yeah. I think they call that um, what's that modern. Uh, Modern eclectic or modern contemporary, mod oh, contemporary oh. rustic. What is this? Some new word that basically is a oxymoron for old new. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I like it, and then w the more I look at it, the more I think that's just an iron. Yeah, <laughs> it does kind of look like an iron. <laughs> but wouldn't a cool grate on the front uh, look really cool? Yeah, like they could have done some sort of intricate scroll like work. scroll work. Yeah. Still awesome. Great design, though. I love the fact that the, the way it's stacked, it's really easy to assemble. So, like, you can see where the plugs are for the aux in and the dials on the back. Just real good use of space. Like you said, just a clean, clean design. Yeah, you just can take an old, old boom box and then... Really just deconstruct what you need from it. Yeah. yeah, and then just cut this, and you've got something really... 
you're, unique. You could probably go into, and I don't want to say the dollar store, but the Walgreens or CVS or if you're in New York, Dwayne Reed, and grab just like a little USB uh, stereo, oh, deconstruct yeah. it, and then construct a just a box for it. Mm -hmm. I bought one from China and it didn't work. So. Did not work. Big surprise. Don't ah, do that. What else do we have here? And then this is the epitome of retro. I mean, the Atomic Diner. Uh, is that here in Nevada? We have like something, like something like that. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, but what a cool little uh, logo. And those are just layered cut, uh, I guess, uh, our laser cut layered items. Uh, mm -hmm. on this. It looks like acrylic, right? Yeah, well, it's actually steel painted. But this guy, he does all kinds of work like this. And he specializes in that retro kind of look. Very, very cool. This is, a, this is another great piece. Uh, it's where uh, the signage really comes into play with these laser cutters. Mm -hmm. Just imagine planning out that file. I think oh, that'd be fun. fun. Super fun, yeah. That's half the fun, I think, of the design process is kind of figuring out the how it's going to get put together. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think it's the best. Well, anyway, if you have a suggestion for uh, Pinspirations uh, for Walker to check out or you have a topic you'd like us to explore with Pinspirations, be sure to share that down in the comments below and let us know. We'll take a look at it next week. We've got some uh, Facebook. Oh, geez, what's going on? Uh, Mark uh, Safe from the Facebook Blackout of 2019. Dave McGee, glad yeah. you made it, man. Glad to see you on the other side. Good to uh, see you. Brad uh, Janikowski, uh, hey guys, still haven't been contacted about the award for last month's contact. Not a problem, Brad. That'll be going out in the mail actually tomorrow. Walker just finished up the Llama Award. We had a few other things put in this package. And you what, should expect that. What is that the Llama Award? Oh, the, what's it stand for? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, help me out, Laser Awesome Mega Award? Yeah, the Legendary. Legendary right. Laser Awesome Mega Award. See, I tried to throw me on the bus, like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that'll be going out to you uh, next week, Brad. Be on the lookout for that. You'll have a little package of uh, other things. We're actually going to throw in some Romark uh, material for you as well. So be on the lookout for that as a, a contest uh, winner. You're our first Llama winner. So you'll have to give a picture and show everyone the cool little prize you got. We're keeping a secret until you get it. So you'll be the first one to see it. Uh, but I mean, it's cool. A little stand you made with the gold. Uh, it's, I Thanks. like it. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan. And uh, uh, hello, hello to Renee and Monica. Absolutely. Uh, hello, you guys. Um, that hello. Kind of, that's, that's like the um, almost a, hey, you guys. Hey, you yeah, guys. Um, almost. Uh, uh, that one is super cool. Monica, we thought so too. That last um, uh, retro one I think is, is really cool. Is that all the uh, shout outs we have yeah, so, far? so far? Okay, excellent. Thanks for the thumbs up, whoever just chimed in there. Uh, appreciate it. So our next segment is actually another uh, very cool segment. Before we get to it, we have a quick sponsor. We'll get to that right now. This segment was brought to you by Cardboard. Cardboard, corrugated since 1976. Awesome. Uh, we got to get better <laughs> sponsors for the show, but yeah, cardboard. Check it out. It's great it's for free. It's free. A lot of times, uh, if you are looking for something to sample, cut, especially stencils, or just see if something fits, a great piece of material to go grab real quick, cut it out, and see if it fits right is an old Amazon box or an old box yeah. in, in the in the cupboard. I like prototyping uh, with it. Absolutely, cardboard's great for prototyping if something's going to fit within another piece. Or mm -hmm. um, I know some people go, "Oh, Nick, what about curve? It's a little different." Yeah, you're absolutely right. It is a little different. Um, Close enough. But it's so close that like you can kind of piece things together. And if you're gonna, if it's gonna come down to the thickness of curve, whether or not it's gonna fit, it's probably gonna require another adjustment, anyways. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, but for the most part, with the software, if you take a square uh, and cut out another square on the inside, whether you, um, I guess, it's gonna fit together if you take the inner square and cut it out independently, mm -hmm. and take the outer square and cut it out with the square cut out, just because the. RE3 software actually accounts for curve, so the true dimensions of the piece are almost always uh, maintained. Yeah. Okay, and so these are so small. So. Oh, absolutely. Um, so now we are on to our next segment, which I'm pretty excited about, and it's kind of a sciencey uh, section where we're going to talk about the difference between current and power on your settings. This so will be useful for everybody. Absolutely. So here's our next segment called Ask, 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 Ask the experts. the experts. Believe it or not, that's us. Yeah, even though we could not pronounce ask yeah. very well. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Now, a lot of people ask, Nick Walker, what is the deal with power and current? I feel like I never use current and I'm fine. Yeah, now, what is current? Yeah, what does current even do? Um, really simply, before we get into like our graphics and things, if you can think of the laser tube like a gun, um, when you're on low current, you're shooting a low amount of bullets. When you're on high current, you're shooting a lot of bullets. And then the power is the size of bullets in which you're using. I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> I see the scene from Commando with Arnold with both guns. Um, so we actually have a couple graphics that our producer Charles put together for you. So we can kind of uh, show the demonstration. So first we're going to talk about power. Now the laser power is really just the intensity uh, and the amount of uh, 
uh, pure energy that's coming to uh, the machine. So when you go from low to high power, uh, the size of the beam doesn't change, the no. pulse rate of the beam doesn't change, just the amount of energy uh, that's uh, getting to the beam, and that in turn is how much energy is getting applied to your material. So uh, your power setting is the most common setting used. It's how most people dial in uh, to get their cut settings or dial in specific uh, vector marking. Uh, now we should mention that as we talk about vector, uh, where we talk about current and power, mm -hmm. we're only talking about vector cutting yes. and vector marking. because that has it, uh, nothing to do with raster. Absolutely. So this wouldn't apply to any type of rasterization uh, at all. So uh, as we move on to current, now current is really the pulse rate. Uh, of the laser. So it's how many times your laser uh, is firing um, uh, as it moves across the site. So we use that kind of a frequency uh, representation there to see that like a low current, it's a lower pulse rate than a high current. You have more uh, of the laser firing at your material. Now, if you want to think about this for a practical sense, as you're cutting, you're going to want to dial in your power and speed settings first, and mm. they can always fine tune with the current. So if you're getting a bit of charring on the edge of your wood, uh, but let's say uh, turning down the power one more percentage or a couple more percentage actually doesn't cut through. Yeah. Well, you found the sweet spot for power. If you want to get that like nice golden brown char, mm -hmm. what do you do? Play with that current, lower the current. And actually if you do paper, I think it's really important to see that difference because you can see the different serrations actual on paper when you play with the current. Absolutely, so. Monica uh, mentioned that in the uh, comments that she's been using it uh, for paper. Yes. Paper, look at uh, Monica was just, Maybe we should have Monica on. Yeah. And Talk Monica, you can just start doing the show. All right. Okay, that was it. Okay, we're, we're, we'll be back. Just kidding, Monica. Great point. Paper, I think, is the most uh, important place where you start dialing in your current yes. because it, it's so delicate. Another good that's one. That's why I learned it. Absolutely. Like, and that's why I learned it. Yeah. Otherwise, I was like, when I first started, I was All in the power. same boat. Yep. I was like, well, what's that about? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, another delicate things are things like lace. Um, other delicate like papers are where people are doing, uh, you know, personalized uh, gifts or. Uh, greeting cards or invitations. A lot of that paper is very thin and delicate. Mm -hmm. Great use of it. I also noticed that when you're doing leather, it's a great way to minimize the char on leather uh, when you're doing cuts with that. Especially less dense Absolutely, leather. yeah. Um, and we're talking like a thin leather that uh, doesn't have much hide to it. Yeah, very yeah. pliable. Absolutely. Okay, so um, really, uh, if we want to kind of uh, summate this uh, as to when and how you use it, uh, power is like your large dial that you want to get very close to. Yes. Then current is what you can use to kind really, tweak it, right? absolutely, dial it into exactly what you need. Kind uh, of like a clock in the minutes, right? Hour, get that hour right and then dial in the minutes. Absolutely. Uh, so many people in their applications, they'll never use current because they just have uh, s power and speed that works well. I, I can see a lot of people with acrylic doing this, but as you move into thicker acrylic, even a quarter inch acrylic will give you this problem. You'll notice that a little bit of the kerf has a little bit of a, just a little bit of a bow to it. By dialing in the current, you can actually minimize the amount of kerf when you uh, dial in current, even on acrylic. So Monica said, just uh, ship her out and Oh, She'll no come. problem. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that approval uh, put through our executives and we'll see how that turns That's out. That's we just put her in luggage and then under oh, the, there under we the go. plane's cheaper. As long as you don't mind flying under the plane, I think we can work this out yeah. sometime today. So we got a couple <laughs> questions for the experts. Of course. What questions do we have? Uh, first, we've got, uh, are current and power settings affected by the laser tube wattage? Um, a bit, uh, but no different than it would be the effectiveness of the laser tube. So if you have 100 power, 100 current on a 40 watt tube, that's obviously different than 100 power and 100 current on a 90 watt tube. So as you, um, you know, figure out power settings, how they're a little different on a higher wattage tube, you'll notice the current also has a uh, uh, with the 90 watt tube, I'd say you have more play room. You have more like ability to dial in because um, there's more. It seems like uh, more s effective steps as you dial in percentage yeah. and S current. So at a certain point, the actual 45 watt tube will start to piddle out. Right. With a pro tube, it seems as though it it can go very low yeah, and absolutely. still be effective. And I mean, it's got a wider range in general, so yep. it's spread out. Yeah. And the last question is, why is the current setting not used in engravings? Uh, say that again? Why don't, why don't you have the option for current settings when you're doing uh, engravings? It's a very good question. Uh, so when you're doing engravings, um, the laser's already taken into account uh, current and using current uh, a bit to help with the dithering. So uh, yeah. as your pulse rate changes, as the laser head passes across, um, current's already kind of in play and being used by the laser uh, with, uh, I guess we're going to start talking about like some of the 
the, I guess, AI and a enhanced uh, abilities of the uh, RE3 system where it's doing a lot of the calculation for you. Yeah, that calculation has already been made. And so that's kind of what uh, RE3 kind of stands apart from a lot of other uh, laser control um, software. Even like a LaserWorks, uh, the new version uh, 8, has, uh, it was a great upgrade for LaserWorks, but it, it really doesn't do most of what uh, RE3 does in the sense of like uh, setting up your file for you a bit, uh, especially with photos, you notice a big difference when you're loading. It just doesn't look as good. It <laughs> doesn't look as good as either. Part. Uh, do we, look, we have another question. Uh, uh, Brad wants to know, can we put 3D engraving on your list as talk uh, to discuss sometimes? I'll tell you what, Brad, we'll do one better. We'll talk about that next week. Sounds good. Man. Sounds good. All right. And Joy uh, joined us here. Oh, Joy, nice to see you. And it looks like John and I'll bet Jeanette's somewhere around too if John's yes. uh, joined. Of course. All right, so again, uh, that was our ask, ask the Experts uh, section. If you've got a question for us or um, maybe just a topic you'd like us to discuss or dive a little deeper into, go ahead and leave it down in the comments or send us an email at marketing at fslaser.com and we'll get it on one of our shows. And I think we have another sponsor. Oh, one more sponsor? Who could, who could this sponsor be? That's right. Know. This segment was brought to you by Chewing Gum. When you're doing Facebook Live, don't forget the chewing gum. That's fume extractors, that's, uh, fume as, extractors well. Ex yeah. as well. They're good. Fume extractors. Um, that works. Scott couldn't see what frame was around him, but also we'll remember not to chew gum on Facebook yes. Live. Sorry to the people we offended a few weeks ago by. Um, yeah, it must have been. I think we were called horrible. cows. Horrible. Amateur cows. Uh, if we're gonna be an amateur something, I'll be an amateur cow. That's not it, that bad. Because you literally don't do anything at that point. If you're <laughs> amateur, <laughs> amateur cow, you're like you're just basically absorbing sun and laying in grass. Exists, yeah, yeah, that's just just your thing. Doesn't sound too bad. No, kind of like a dog's I, life. I wish right? I did that this yeah. morning. Yeah. yeah, like the dog and the cat talking about what you do today. Well, I laid in the sun until I was too hot, and then I laid in the shade until I was too <laughs> cold, yeah. and then did that again. Uh, I'm sure, cow's life much, much the same. Yeah. Um, looks Difficult. like um, uh, watching uh, from hospital, Jeanette had back surgery Tuesday. Oh, oh Jeanette, please feel better, better soon. soon. Absolutely, yeah. sending our very best from all the team here. Uh, feel better soon, quick and speedy recovery from your back surgery. Uh, we just had a small earthquake here in Las Vegas, it appears. Sorry for that little bit of shake in the camera. Um, <laughs> oh, it looks like our producer was just dropping the hammer. To move on to the next segment, sorry about that. So our final segment today, we're actually talking about some fun projects and this week's project we have some cool license plates covers. It. Yeah, so this one's called Personalize It. Hey. Woo! Ooh, look at this cool, man. How cool is this intro? Who made that intro? Oh, no. Jeez, this guy amazing. that makes these intros. So we have some really cool, and we'll switch the, I guess, the close cam on a picture in picture so we can look at some of these. But the, uh, this first one here, oh, could you make this one big and make us small? Sorry about that. Spot yeah, so this first one here is a, um, a koala frame and it reads don't worry about my driving i'm qualified <laughs> got him what a good dad joke <laughs> good job walker on this one uh just a cool little frame uh we'll have these uh files available on the website just go to our free projects uh listing but this qualified frame is a great one then this next one i think is he made just for me mashed yeah. potatoes not your head buckle up what a good safety one yeah I'm all about safety. Uh, I'm all about mashed potatoes. So I know you are. What a perfect it's mix. It's really weird. It's not that weird. Did you know that you can survive on only buttery mashed potatoes? You can, that could be the only food you eat. It could survive. It has all the nutrients you need. You're living proof. I know. I'm living proof. People wonder how I've made it so far. But this one is nice and plain. But this one is super fancy. Look at this one. Looks like, oh my goodness. A, Did Leonardo DiCaprio use this in his movie? This looks like wow. it should be the Gatsby's. Look at the wow. detail on this. Oops, and we focus. There we go. I just want um, to show the other one for the, the same file. You can get a totally different look. Yeah, so this is just a same file, just, uh, you know, the opposite, if you will. So all this is on the back, if you want to take a look, is gold mirrored acrylic. And on the back, it is just painted black. So the areas that you took away essentially show up black. So you basically engrave it on the back side. Um, I guess reversed. Uh, yeah, yeah, reversed and then, and then painted. Yeah, and then uh, Walker, what does this mean? Half half seized, seized over and zazzled. And zazzled? That, that's and zazzled? Uh, Did Hemingway give you that word? That's a 1920s saying. 1920s saying. Yeah, if that's you really cool. need to know, you should look it up. It's, sure. it's so really cool. Half seized over and zazzled. I don't know if the police want to read that as you're driving, though. Half seized over and zazzled? It's, it's code. It's code. Yeah. Okay, they'll know. They'll know that you're cool. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put this cam back on Scott real quick, just in case we have another word from our sponsor. Um, looks like uh, 
with this project, um, I like these because you can use just about any material, right? Yeah. But what would you prefer to use since it's a license plate and it'll be outside? So I would use acrylics, especially the Rollmark stuff. I think the yeah. metal. Yeah, these metal plate, uh, well, the metal look, uh, mm -hmm. Rollmark stuff, like if you can see, this is very thin and super pliable. Uh, it's got good tensile strength, so it, it, this will last. This will stand up a long time on your car, and it's just a great look. I mean, this looks like it's like professionally it, done. It looks like brushed aluminum. Yeah, it's it does. Really it looks cool. great. You know what you could even do? You could add this as a layer, the Koala Bear, mm -hmm. and glue that on, and that would even be a great look. It'd be uh, cool if you laser cut uh, Woody and Buzz, and then had them hanging from a string. <laughs> oh, yeah, and they were just bouncing on the back. Yeah, that'd be yeah, funny, yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, these uh, projects will be available on uh, free laser projects. They'll all be customizable. You can actually drag them right into like this file, drag it right into RE3 and then customize the text you want right there in uh, RE3 program. Don't need a single other bit of software no. uh, to do this. And it's perfect for every license plate in the US. Right, so if you're from the UK or what's another one with long ones? Uh, Germany has long, oh, yeah, ones. Spain long has long skinny ones. Uh, essentially yeah. everybody except us. Really. Yeah, I think it, they look so cool. They so look cool, yeah, way like cool. especially like Ferrari's got that so cool. classic yeah. car. Mm. Uh, so if you're in the UK or European Union and like you're looking for license plates covered, just send us those dimensions. Yeah. And we'll or add another uh, one for you guys. I mean, they already look so cool. Yeah, so. I don't know why I messed that up. But yeah. I bet they think the same thing about ours. They but don't. This is like a golden <laughs> ratio. Is it's it? like perfect dimensions. Yeah, this is great. Wow. Anyway, uh, so we got a few announcements for you uh, uh, this week. Uh, first of all, I always want to thank all of our, our viewers, uh, everyone that yeah. we mentioned before. We got Monica, Joy, uh, Brad, John, Jeanette, all watching. Yeah, I hope in. Jeanette gets better soon. Yeah, Jeanette, we sincerely send her very best. So sad to hear about uh, uh, you're in the hospital, but I uh, hope the surgery fixed everything with you back and you're up and at them uh, soon. Um, very soon, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. So what else we got? Uh, Every uh, Wednesday, now I know it's Thursday, I know it's uh, a little bit off, but uh, so long as there's no other Facebook apocalypse, next week we'll be back again at 4 p.m. on the West Coast on uh, Facebook Live uh, for another show. If you've got any ideas or something you want us to talk about, uh, we will do that next week. We'll, we'll yes. be talking about 3D um, uh, printing. Uh, but one big shout out uh, we did want to give is we had a uh, customer actually stop by for some training this week who watches so the show. Kurt uh, Dimer, I believe is how you say his name. Dimer, yeah, Dimer, so. D-I-E-M-E-R. But Kurt stopped by to get some uh, specialized training on his new laser that he just picked up. He's a really our, nice guy. Super nice guy. Like uh, he recognized us when we came in the door. Yeah, like, yeah. I he was, was like, oh, it's Walker. And then I started talking to him and had a great time. Then you walked in. Yeah. And uh, he was he was like. Because the sun was coming in, yeah, it, it was, was like a glorious, big layer right? off the uh, yeah, I get it. It was get glorious because yeah. there's so much sun coming, and then he was like, "Is that yeah, 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 yeah?" He's no. so excited. <laughs> Uh, so, Kurt, thanks again for stopping by. I hope the training helped a lot. It seemed like yeah. you got a lot out of it. Uh, we always love when customers come in for uh, personalized training on the laser system. Uh, just to let you know that that training is available not only here at Full Spectrum Laser, but it can also come to you to do training. Walker will literally show up to your uh, workshop, uh, you know, store unannounced. business. Unannounced. Uh, unannounced, completely. You just hear a knock on the door. And you're like, I wonder who that is. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, it's Walker. He just comes in and he fixes your laser. Just kidding. But we'll schedule a time for you. Walker can fly out, uh, come in and show you uh, application-specific, machine-specific uh, training, how to get the most out of your laser um, you love doing this too like I, I feel like every time you come back from a trip he's got great stories I uh, loves to talk about yeah. all the different customers he runs into uh, we love sending him out uh, we also have a few other guys that do it as well we love sending him out getting him out of the office yeah, I mean, not yeah. here. That means there's there's more uh, treats in the break room. Oh, there's, wow. Yeah, the bathroom's not tied up as much yet. Like, we don't have to, like, exactly. Like, don't have to worry about it. You know That's how long it takes for him to do this hair? It takes a long time Two in the bathroom pillows. before the show. <laughs> One pillow on each side just yeah. not to move. Yeah. Um, other things we got. Don't forget, we are still doing the FSL contest. I have to use the hashtag made with FSL. It's just monthly now. Uh, right. So once a month, we pick a, a winner, but we'll also show a bunch of the... Uh, uh, you know, the different uh, contest, uh, I guess, um, people who also submitted. So just use the hashtag you see down below, made with FSL. And uh, you can post it on any platform when you post a photo. And <coughs> as long as it's public for us to see, we will find it. And we'll put it in the, in the, uh, in the runnings. Monica says, can she ship me in, uh, in a box or suitcase? Monica, if you can send a shipping label in a proper yeah. sized box. He's I was about to say, that box yeah, is it's huge. It's got to be a big box. It's got to have a real sturdy floor. Uh, and we'll get, it, we'll get it sent right out. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, oh, the, um, I know th those are they're, they're coming. They're getting teed they're up. Really I know. I know. It's, it's all gonna. Back. It's the karma. The comment karma is just gonna come back yeah. here in a moment, right? Um, so uh, again, we have uh, a survey that's up on our full spectrum laser community forum. Uh, we'd love for to hear you guys. 
Uh, and uh, this week's question is, where do you have your laser located at? Uh, do you keep it in your warehouse? Do you keep it in the factory? Do you have an inside of the home workshop? Do you have a workshop in your garage? Do you have it, keep it on the kitchen table? <laughs> do you have it just open so you can move it from place to place? We'd love to know. Check out our community forum. Uh, it's, uh, the link to it's on our Facebook page. Uh, head on over and check out that survey and let us know where you keep your laser at. Um, other than that, uh, make sure you tell your friends about FSL Laser or FS Laser. <laughs> um, uh, we have the referral program that links also yes. down below. Uh, if your friend's going to get a laser anyways, you might as well make a few bucks uh, while they do it and hook them up with a company that uh, really is all about lasers, right? We love them. We love, love lasers. lasers. Absolutely. So again, if you want to make some cool um, license plate covers, we got those files available for you on the website. If you've got questions, comments, or concerns, make sure to leave them down in the comments down below. And until next week here at 4 o'clock on Wednesday for Facebook Live, keep making. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. And we've got a lot more videos over here. Hey everybody, you like my video?